way. He's though. quiet, reserved. He's meeps rock. He is brave and confident, but in a very like quiet way. Like he doesn't want to shout it from the rooftop. Um, he's unbelievably smart, and he knows what's right. And he's very loving. I think. I mean, Meek was just sort of a, you know, a, 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 a superhero of her time, um, and somebody who just got on with, got on with it in a in a in a very um, admirable way. Um, I think we can all learn a lesson from from someone like Meek, um, while also being, you know, fun, charismatic, engaging. Um, Oh, wow. <laughs> um, and so many more things. I mean, the truth is, I knew nothing about them. Nothing. I knew a lot about this part of history, and I know about the Franks, but I, I knew very little about Amsterdam during the war, about the occupation, about the Dutch resistance, and I knew nothing about me and Jan. Oh my God, everything. We would get scripts through and I would call Tony and be like surely this part can't, they can't be true they can't have done that and it always was like every like it was just so um unbelievable the bravery that these people like the things that they went through and the things that they did was just yeah astounding uh, I mean for me yeah, much the same it's, it's a part of history you feel like you know so well and then you realise once you delve into it that there's there's so much that people are going to learn from watching this and every day felt like a history lesson um, but a fun one you know uh, and, and and you know these, these these people obviously you know Anne, Anne Frank's such a famous um, uh, name and her, her, her diaries is, is so well known across the world but you know Meep and Yarn pe people don't even people don't know those names really, really you know and, and, and I'm excited for, for a wider audience to, to, to get to know these people I think they just both have a really good sense of what's right and what's wrong. Like, they're both very selfless and completely egoless. Um, they also really, really loved each other. And I don't think that a marriage would have been able to sustain what these two people went through if they weren't, didn't have that kind of really strong base that they had. Um, they were honest with each other. I mean, even, yeah. 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 And just a great sense of a great sense of courage, mm. you know, in in in, a, in what would have been a very trying time, and uh, and and they they stuck together. And I think you know it's what they what they did. You know, they they hid nine people in their house in, in, in the annex, uh, and and were doing all sorts of things all over the streets of Amsterdam as well. Um, they couldn't have done without one another. I think mm. that's that's sort of what we learn as yeah. you go on. You sort of think. Okay, they did both. They did, did both need something. Meek would have. Meek, it was Meek's idea. Meek, Meek chose to do it, and, and, and without hesitation, accepted Otto Frank and his family, and then the Van Pels and Pepper, and then um, you know Jan, Jan, Jan supported, and, 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 and did his bit. Yeah, they both stood for the same thing. They had the same morals. Yeah, and also, yeah. also like the other, you know, Beth, and like there was so, there was, yeah. there was so many people involved. Um, you know, who, who, who subsidiary characters in our mm -hmm. show who who were doing amazing. Yeah. Like Beth was doing, and you know, the Kugler and Kleinman and people all over Amsterdam, really, because Amsterdam, yeah. because of the they occupation, it was like you either take action or you're a passive bystander. So you were either in the resistance and you're hiding Jews and you're doing something about this, or you're a passive bystander. And you see over the course of the show, I mean, you've seen it. Yeah, we have a character that's introduced of Tess who. Is showing that kind of the road you go down if you are passed by Sandra. Mm -hmm. I think there's like a pressure just because of the weight of this part of history. Like, it's not, for me, it wasn't necessarily just about the person, it's about everything. It's about the Holocaust, it's about the six million Jews, it's about the Franks. Like, that, that's for me where, the, where I felt the pressure is just a, the fact that the subject itself. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of you know creating a character for me, that it's the same process whether the person's real or whether they aren't. Of 
course, there's probably more research to draw on if the person is a real person, but it ends up being the same process. Um, and I think you can't let that pressure get to you too much because I think it can be damaging. Also, it was important also for me to always remember that Neat never wanted to be put on a pedestal. She never wanted to be called a, a hero. That was a mantra, her mantra till the day she died. So I think it, it made it maybe a little bit easier in the fact that I knew that she wanted us all to see a bit of ourselves in her. Uh, I mean, much the same. I think I've, you approach all characters are the same. You know, you, I think there's a, when you're playing somebody, you know, who, 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 who history like this, <laughs> there's a due diligence that you have to you have to do and you want you've got to do the research um, and there is an added weight to it but essentially you're playing, you know it's about being truthful it's about being honest it's about trying to bring this person to life in a way that's engaging and, 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 and for, for the audience um, and also there was very little uh, known about yarn really so there was an opportunity to for me to put my own stamp on it a little bit you know we there's we had, you know, there's some imagery and, 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 and photographs of him that after after the war he didn't want to speak. You know, he didn't want to. Um, mm. He didn't want to discuss it. I think that was that was the same for the many people who were involved in the, mm. in the resistance you know, of World War Two. So, so yeah, it was an opportunity to put my own stamp yeah. on it. Hundred percent. I mean, I, uh, that's what I felt on reading the pilot. I immediately was like, "What would I do?" And that was really important. And that was kind of Tony and Jones. Um, that was their mantra from the beginning until the end. Like, if we're gonna retell this part of history, it needs to be in a new and fresh way, and it needs to make people think about themselves and their own situations. Um, that's why the show has this kind of modern tone to it so you don't feel separated from it like you often can with period shows um it feels present and it feels accessible and yeah you've, i hopefully like an audience can really connect to it so that it makes them think what would i do yeah, yeah I, I agree i think we, we've tried to you know across the board we've tried to make this show sort of uh, relatable and 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 and, and, and fresh and, and hopefully people can Sort of see themselves in these characters and relate to these these people. You know, uh, like even just watching Billy Billy's performance mm -hmm. as Anne Frank. You know, you, you, I, I find her so relatable as a as a young as a young teenage girl growing up and, and becoming a woman. And, and and hopefully, young women can 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 the young girls can can watch this and relate to her, relate yeah. to Belle's character. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's the, it's in the writing, it's in the performances, you know, that's, and, and and that's important. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 there's, it's so, it, we've never, you've never seen anything like this. You, you know, you, you, you've seen this story, you've seen Anne's story told um, in, in the perspective behind the door, you know, yeah. in, in the annex. And, 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 and this is on the streets of Amsterdam. This is a whole different thing. You, you, you're seeing people growing up, falling in love, getting married, mm -hmm. the day-to-day -day, um, uh, issues and uh, uh, bickering within a relationship, you know, doing the washing, buying, buying yeah. the shopping, you know. Yeah. In amongst this great sort of uh, thing that's going on, this horrible scenario that these people are in. So, uh, yeah, I think it's. I think people are going to be very surprised. I don't think anybody. You know, there's. A, we're not treading old ground here. This is a new, fresh, the fresh tale. I think people are going to learn something. I think there's no there's no um, tragedy without comedy, and there's no comedy without tragedy. Like that's that's how that's life, um, and I think it's very true to life in that way. Um, yeah, that's what makes it feel feel real, and it's what's going to make people connect. Like you know, Susanna said to me when we had our first meeting, and I said, you know, how do you imagine this tone, the tone of this show to be? And she said, listen, during the five year occupation in Amsterdam. The tulip still grew every year. Like Amsterdam was in bloom in the summer, and it looked really beautiful. And like those people still going about their business. Like it's about presenting that kind of like dichotomy, which I think is important to make it feel well rounded and real, and not just black and white. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I think we just want people to re re reflect and be inspired. Um, and 
as we said before, to think, what would I do? And to hopefully, you know, make the right decision and everyone to be a better person. <laughs> yeah, but also what you said earlier, like, you know, it's interesting about being, uh, not being passive. Yeah. Mm. Being passive is being complicit. Mm. Mm. There's always opportunity to be active. You know, there's, a, there's, there's, there's so many movements going on in the world today, um, trying to be a more inclusive society. Mm. And being passive is, 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 doesn't get you anywhere. So yeah, I think I that's think, a yeah, good, There's good one message. quote of me, so I'm gonna totally say it wrong, but um, it's something like, um, action is always better than inaction because inaction always results in failure. Mm. But it, with action, at least you tried. Mm. <laughs> And I think we can, that's it, like, right? <laughs>